Hi, little chefs. How are we doing? Papa's gonna get this meat ready. There we go. Okay. So today we're gonna make uh, manicotti. Stuffed manicotti. Yep. I'm right now trying to get the meat ready. Make the sauce. I'm sitting on this side of the table this time. <laughs> Here's the noodles. You put cheese in there. You can put any kind of cheese you want. I'm putting mozzarella and parmesan mixed in here because nobody likes ricotta cheese but me and mama. So, so um, that's what I'm doing right now. So, what I got here is, I've done this before for you guys, so it'd be easier than me sitting there holding a bunch of containers all at once and stuff, so you guys won't see that. I'm trying to do something different, I hope you guys like it, and maybe be easier. So I got garlic powder, beet base, onion powder, black pepper. Oregano. Can't even see the onion powder on there. There we go. Couldn't. The uh, beef base was towering over it. Mm. <laughs> it ain't king of the plate. <laughs> king of the plate. <laughs> Throw all that seasoning in there. In the hamburger, and I'll tell you in the description below what it is. I always do. I got some peppers and onions. Diced. Uh, a half an onion up and a couple peppers, sweet peppers. That's what I did. Throwing that in there. And that's going to get fried down. And then I'll make the spaghetti. I'll have the sauce with it and, and then that'll be done. Um, we're not going to bake in our oven because our oven quit. And we wait until Saturday. You get our, our new, new oven. Yeah, new stove's coming Saturday. And then the furnace repair man was out today. Our computer board on the furnace quit, so. But he said it'll cost more to fix it than it would to get a new one. So we'll yeah. see what the park says. Yeah. Pray for us that they get us a new furnace. So the next thing I'm going to do is a couple tablespoons of minced garlic. So. We love garlic. Mm-hmm. Garlic's good for your heart. Give a couple tablespoons of garlic. And that over there. The next thing is, is this is gotta get fried down and into scrambled hamburger. I'll put this over here. Turn it on. The chair I'm sitting on squeaks like no, and I'm like, no tomorrow. Yes, it does. I should have switched it out for James' chair. <laughs> Little hillbillies don't squeak that much. Sorry the mess on the floor. We're going through the cabinets to check things out. See what we have and what we can get rid of. So sorry about the mess on the floor, y'all. I apologize. Because we have a lot of excess dishes underneath this cabinet that we really don't need. So I apologize. It's spring cleaning for a reason. Still spring cleaning. <laughs> I don't think it ever ends. <laughs> While the hamburger's getting ready to fry, I'm going to show you guys something. Give me the cheese, please. Thank you. So what I got here is mozzarella and parmesan mixed together. Grated parmesan. Fine grated. And mozzarella. Uh, oh. So what you do is you take your noodle and you stuff it. That's what manicotti is about. You stuff it. Hold one hand close. 
Don't leather in and just go down and stuffing them. And put your finger in there to pack it in. If you want it packed in. But yeah, we still have an oven. We got big red. Big red's like an oven. Um, I got crock pots. See, like I says, you guys can cook with any anything that I have. You guys can use it. Um, big red is a slow cooker. Well, not a slow cooker. It's like an oven. It's a rotisserie oven. They call it. Um, it doesn't rotate to meat or anything, but it uh, what it does is uh, cook the meat like you're cooking in the oven. So that's what you do. Stick that in there. One in all, shove the cheese in there. This is a fun part. Tedious part. Yeah, takes the longest. You can use ricotta cheese. You can use whatever cheese you want to put in there. Whatever cheese you like. Goat cheese. Everybody likes ricotta in them. You know. I've filled these many a times. I've done many of these. It's just whatever you want to eat. It with. I've always used ricotta. Oh, well, you got to put the meat in there. You don't put the meat in this. It goes on top. The cheese goes inside. Okay. The meat and sauce go on top. I'll show you. Look. I'm trying to teach Mama her really stuff too. She's probably never seen this done before. No, my mom's never done that. She's done stuffed shells, but not that. Yeah, the car is a little bit different. Can you smash the meat for her? Thank you. That's fun, guys. When you guys said you like long videos. Well, this is going to be a long one. If you do like ricotta cheese, you can put it in a bag, like, a, in. like a Ziploc bag in, pipe it in. But what I'm doing is totally different. I'm doing this um, mozzarella and parmesan because they don't like ricotta. So I respect everybody around here when I cook. So you guys getting rain over there in that areas where you're from and where you live? We're getting a lot of rain. Yep. We had a storm yesterday, was it? Was it rain yesterday? That storm's Tuesday. Rain all day yesterday. And there's rain today. Just keeps on raining. We love rain. Oh. 
up a hillbilly. I just picking up a little hillbilly today. Yeah. Sissy hillbilly is with her for football to be with her friend. Yep, she's supposed to go with her friend today. Okay. So you're good to go. I'll take Miss Bell with me if she wants to come. He's getting ready to go pick up a little hillbilly. Mm -hmm. I try to get more food. She could move on. Susie hillbilly's uh, going to hang out with her friend tonight. I love cooking, y'all. I really do. I love this. This is what I love to do. Um, I love making videos for y'all, too. Um, teach you guys a little bit of home cooking and stuff like that. This is like home cooking. This is an Italian dish. Whoops, I forgot to close the end off. <laughs> Mom was behind me. I don't know what she's doing. Well, she's opening some milk. I turned strawberry milk. Get this bottle will. Right, so what you do is you boil these noodles for it until they get like al dente. Boil them for about eight minutes. That's what I did. Um, once they're boiled down, about eight minutes. They're kind of soft, but not too soft. You don't want them overcooked because then they'll overcook in the oven. If they're um, all the way cooked through, you want to cook them partially, like al dente. Um, the reason why is because you're going to bake this like lasagna. And you're going to put it in the oven and bake it identical like lasagna. And if you overcook them, then they're harder to stuff, too. So that's why you don't want to overcook them when you make them. I'm going to try something different. This is the longest part of it. <laughs> Hey, that worked too. Never thought of doing that. <sighs> Did somebody ask me to make Spanish rice? I'm going to do that next video they want a Spanish rice recipe so next video I'm gonna do is a Spanish rice recipe maybe make a Spanish dish I'm gonna make some Spanish rice 
Can you give me that mozzarella cheese, please? Mama helped me. I appreciate all the help she does for me. Especially if I'm doing something like this. She'll go over there and cook the hamburger usually for me. Yeah, she gets out of her chair. <laughs> I don't keep her in her corner that much. <laughs> no. Like on that movie with Patrick Swayze, uh, Dirty Dancing. How did that go? Baby, don't sit in a corner or something like that. That was one of my favorite movies when I was a teenager. That and Roadhouse. Roadhouse was action-packed fighting. I found an easier way to do it now. I was so used to doing it the old way. The way it was taught. This is a little bit easier. Stick it in the bowl and just push it through. <laughs> okay. It works better. Mm-hmm. They're probably thinking I'm crazy. <laughs> we'll probably have to unplug our fridge and move it that way on Saturday before they come, won't we? Yeah. I mean, I got drop cards I can plug it in. I'm not worried about that. It's just... Sitting here and I'm looking and I'm like, you can't pull a stove out and put one in, but there's a little space right here. <laughs> you don't have to move stuff around in here. At least the new landlords are attempting to do stuff. I mean, it's just taking them time. Yes, we got new landlords. Uh, they just took over in January, so and it's a big park too. It's not a small park. No, there's over. Well, there ain't all trailers in the park yet, but. You know, our park manager, Bree, she's been here ever since we lived here. And, and she, she wasn't a manager then. She was just a personal assistant. But she's more better than the manager we had before. Yeah. I like Bree. Bree's a good just lady. Just don't care for the two secretaries that's up there. They like to lie. Me talk to our manager Bree about it, and she's very upset. When we tell her we want an eye call up there yesterday, I told her, I says, I told them I would just want to speak to Bree because on the on the new lease it says if you're going if you're having issues with your home, you supposed to talk to the main manager of the park before you talk to anybody else. And I was going to have somebody come out and do the work. That's the reason why I had to talk to the manager. Um, because you got to get approved through the company and stuff if you're going to have somebody. Because I don't own this trailer. This is a rent trailer. I rent it. And I just needed to get things done because I was living with a furnace that didn't work half, half the beat at all for a year and a half. Every time they send a furnace man out here, they, they didn't really care. They just wanted the money, I think. They never took the cover off of the motherboard. Yeah, the motherboard was fried. Um, the guy showed us today. It's dark, dark brown. I've and, seen it. And he said that's that means that board it looked is like fried. it was starting to melt. He said that shouldn't get hot. The box shouldn't get hot. And with having Sissy and Little Hillbilly in the house, it's kind of a safety concern, if you know what I mean. So That's okay. We're getting it taken care of, so. Give him Bree a couple days to figure out what she's going to do. Well, the repairman had to come out today to take a good look at it and then go up and let them know. So they can figure out what they want to do, and it'd be cheaper in the long run if a new one in instead of 
getting the try to get the parts because he's not even sure you can get the parts for that one anymore. He says it's too old. <laughs> oh well, I well, believe it's been in the trailer since 1974 when it was built. We'll see what happens when they uh, do the work. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm gonna try stuff a little bit more in this one. How many more you got? Uh, I got one more. Oh, okay. I just need to put a little bit more cheese in this one. Yeah, I bet you guys are like, hey, this is what they call MSR or whatever. <laughs> ASMR. ASMR. <laughs> Video of AMSMR. <laughs> I can't even say Yeah, I'm restuffing some of them because some of them need restuffed. A month and 13 days we'll be camping. Yeah, we're ready for that. Mm -hmm. We love camping. How many of you guys like camping? If Get you don't, woods. that's okay too. Get out in the woods and enjoy uh, nature life. <laughs> that's what I call it. Enjoy nature life. Somebody, I don't think they're a subscriber, they were just commenting, which is fine. They came on and said we needed to change our name from Hillbilly's Adventures to a, a cooking type name. And I, I don't want to. No, we don't want to change our name. Because we do ventures too. We go on road trips once in a while. Um, next month we're going to start filming our grocery hauls for you guys. We just go. So why change it from Hillbilly's Adventures to something else? Because shopping is an adventure. We don't like changing things. Mm -mm. We've been we've been this for a long time, and I'm gonna stay what I am. I, I don't want to be mean about it. It's just why we, change the name if you don't want to. We've been this well over since 2019. Before I start showing you guys cooking videos, I was we did something else, and it we, just it wasn't for us, and so we went to cooking and baking videos, and we've we enjoy it. Yes. Yes, that was the tedious part of it all. Sorry about that. Um. I, I finally went out because I finally found some on sale, some containers. Put my flour in, my brown sugar, and my powdered sugar in. And then we had to go and buy a tote to put all my extra extra pasta in it because, you know, mice. I had, a, had it sitting in a wooden box in the bottom of my pantry and they ate a hole in the box. And Oh, I hate mice. What? Honey. It's okay. I got it. This all ain't gonna go in there. I'll probably save some for something else. That's why I didn't put sauce in the meat yet. Because we don't want to put sauce in there. Oh, I'm gonna do something else with that, you know. I can make hamburger hash out of that. I don't know if I made a recipe on that at all. You might have. If he has, just comment down below, guys. I had to block someone in my email because they're trying to tell me how to do my channel because they're claiming they can help us grow. And I'm going to tell you what. There's these people... They're foreigners. I I ain't got nothing against anybody, but this guy, he, he's showing everything that he had nice technology, everything. And then when he went to do a video chat, video chat with me, 
His son came in the room half naked. That's when I closed the door. Because something like that, if you're going to try to help somebody do stuff and get things straightened out, you wouldn't do that to a person at all. I'm sorry. I ain't trying to sound mean about it. But I thought that was gross. <laughs> Papa ain't mean. I'm going to be honest. I ain't mean until you do me wrong. That's how I am. If I was raised that way, I was raised a southern way. You raised like I was, I was raised to show everybody respect until you do me wrong. Once you do me wrong, that's when I'm done with you. I'm not a mean person at all. I don't got a mean bone in my body until you make me wrong. And that's it. I'm, I'm mean. And I mean, I get mean. I have an anger. But I learned to control my anger. Because when I was growing up, you had to stand up for your rights in school and stuff. It ain't like it used to been, you know. Back in them days, um, kids out there in this world back when we were growing up, um, they like to bully people. Back then, there was no bullying, anti-bullying policies or anything like that. And I went to this one school. I went to Central Illinois in Taylorville. And when I went to the high school, they thought they were going to try to bully me around. But they learned not to try to bully me around. Um, I took the biggest person that was doing it, beat his head up in the locker 26 times. And he learned it. They learned not to mess with me after that. And like I'm doing this for you guys, I appreciate you all and what I do for you all and show you guys everything I can show you guys how it is and everything. So I'm just trying to give Papa his drink. What I'm doing right now, I got the manicotti in there, the meat. And then I got the sauce on top. You want to bake this for like about 20, 20 minutes without cheese on top. And 20 minutes later, you go back, put cheese on top, let it bake for another 10 minutes until it gets brown. So it takes about approximately about 40, 20, uh, 40 to 45 minutes before this is done. But I'm going to tell you what. It's delicious. I used to make these every day in the restaurant I would make over a hundred and fifty manicotti rolls a day and they would they wouldn't do they would do them but they would serve them a different way than I'm doing it right now so but you guys like watching long videos and stuff so I'm trying to do what you guys want to prove to my to my channel and everything to you guys that I really appreciate you guys and and it's a lot of work but the reason why I do it because you guys I, I love the because you guys subscribed and everything and I appreciate that um, it's a lot of appreciation you know to have somebody come on and click a button saying I'm subscribed to your channel because you're showing respect or you're doing this for us and teaching us this. And that's what I'm trying to do is teach you guys. I'm not out there like most cooking channels saying you need to do this. It's up to you. You know, I'm just showing you guys the easier way to do it at home because I went to school for it. And with my terroration in my back and stuff, I can't do what I used to do. So I want to share my knowledge to you guys that um, I can still do this by teaching you guys how to do it at home easier ways a lot easier and different recipes that you might not even know and that's why I'm saying if you guys send me recipes that I don't know I'm gonna I'll try it I already had one send me a recipe about Mexican breakfast rice mm -hmm. something like that 
Mexican breakfast rice. Excuse me. That I made. I'm sorry I didn't make it your way. I apologize. But like I said, if you send me a recipe, I had to make it for my family. Um, and I apologize about that. Um, the spices, I got to watch the spices because Uncle Hibba is allergic to hot peppers. So I can't make anything super spicy. Um, there is some stuff that my kids don't like. Um, like ricotta cheese. Yeah, ricotta cheese. That's why I took my time to use mozzarella and Parmesan cheese mixed together and stuff these rolls with it. Yes, it took me a little bit longer to do. And instead of with the ricotta cheese, you put it in a bag and you squeeze it in there and then you stick them in the pan. But I do it because I love my family and I want my family to be happy when they eat it. That's why I do this. But the reason why, the no reason is I want you guys to see that you can do different things with noodles or a dish. This is an Italian dish, yes. This is an Italian dish with a little twist. I put mozzarella and Parmesan cheese still mixed in. Still, Parmesan cheese is Italian food. Italian cheese. Mozzarella is Italian cheese. But I still used it. But like I said, you can stuff these with any kind of cheese you want. You can stuff it with Limburger cheese, goat Ooh. cheese, blue cheese. Oh, heck no. Then there's a cheese out there that smells like sour milk. You can stuff that with it. You can stuff whatever cheese you want to stuff in these. It's whatever makes you happy, not me. What you happy. I'm just showing you what my family would be happy with. So, so I'm going to be back in a little bit. I'll show you in 20 minutes that how it looks once I pin cheese on top. So, be back in 20. Peace. Look at that little chefs. Does that look pretty? Alright. Little Hibba is going to lead us off in a prayer tonight. Dear Lord, thank you for the food we found it. Just kind of ask away. All my family feels better. Please help mom dad's backs. Please help me and my sister. Amen. Please help. <laughs> and please help our channels. Amen. Alright everybody. Um, mom is trying to get the toast out, is what she's doing. One. And uh, here's two. Toast is good for you. I knew the scissors were good for something. So, we got the manicotti done and put it in the books. And hope you guys will like this recipe. And we appreciate you all. Little hillbilly, he's over there smacking his lips right now. <laughs> Look at him, he's over there tearing it up. <laughs> See? You guys got the cut, little hillbilly eating. <laughs> so, we appreciate you all. Like and subscribe to this video. And uh, all the new subscribers, I still got to shout the new ones out. We got some new ones. Just ain't written down the names yet. We will subscribe and shout you out in our next video. And once we get it all written down, because we got, like, what, four new ones? Four or five. Yeah, something like that. So, we appreciate you all, and God bless you all. Um, Facebook, we have a Facebook, Buy Me a Coffee. Um, is it going to be in the link below, and the recipe for this will be in the link below. So, you all take care, and God bless you all. Peace. Mm -hmm.